My name is Kishwani. There's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn to read and write Hindi. We are also here because we want to learn to read and write Urdu. We are doing both at the same time. Today is our lesson number 18. Today is our second day, part 2 in a series of 4, part 2 of 4. part 2 of 4 the very first part we did yesterday on day number 16 that's uh, day number 17 rather that's where we begin the ek hi matra and today we'll continue with what we learned yesterday so a uh, quick recapitulation a recap of what we talked about yesterday and if you want to learn uh, if you want to have a little bit of a deeper understanding of ek hi matra the introduction uh, it's important that you watch the introduction which is in yesterday's videos as i said that's where i spent a lot of time explaining the basic concepts and so forth but here's the as i said recapitulation a recap so if you want to make a ek hi matra for example if you have a b i'm going to call this b not a b because the letter itself this letter in urdu is called b but if i call it b and then we talk about converting b into a b that's going to be confusing so let's call it b if you want to convert the b sound sound of b into a b you take a letter called badi a a urdu letter called badi a and you put them together and that converts it, it joins like this and it becomes a b in hindi you take the letter b put a line on top of it and just one that's a b and this letter is called ye badi a badi ye badi a What if I want if instead of a b you want a longer so longer sound of a longer a sound b same thing you take the b but this time you're going to put a zabar on it it takes a zabar in addition to badi a it takes a zabar if this symbol is called zabar zabar and you combine it with the badi a and it looks like this b and the badi a and that makes a b into a b and now you're going to have to put two of them and that makes it a b let's do p so if you have a p you want to convert it into p you to join it with the body a and that makes it a p and that becomes p if you want to put zabar on it p body a if you want to put a zabar on it The fact that I stop right here and the fact that I carry down all the way there makes no makes really no difference. Don't don't read too much into it. It makes no difference. There is no significance to the fact that I stop right here as opposed to coming here. As long as you put a dot there, person would understand the dots actually belong to this guy. Or you can put the dot underneath it also. Or you can make it short and leave it at that and put a dot here. Or like that. Is is any any of these ways is fine. So that makes it a pay. And it, because it has a zabar, we need two of them. Let's do one more. T and a body A will make it T, or T and a body A will make it T, like that. Same thing. T, body A, but this time T is going to take a zabar, so it becomes longer T. Voila. Let's do some words. Let's do some words. See what we have. Here's the first one. T and a body. Eh? Let's not call it T. The letter is called T, but let's call it T. T and a body. Eh? It's going to make a T. So that's. And because it has no zabar on it, it's a choti, choti ek hi matra te. And then what do we have? Oh, it's very simple. Then we have a l, teo. So, te, ye, badi ye. We know that I, when either badi ye or choti ye, 
when they appear in the middle of the world, they take this shape, half circle, half circle with two dots. That's what that is. There is your T, this is your Bariye, T, and then L, tail. Tail is in oil. Let's compare it, let's compare tail with another word where the T sound is going to be longer. It's sort of tail, it's going to be T. Let me first write it, you'll see it. So here you have T. But this one has a zebra on it. T, R, and then Na. Terna. Terna. Terna is opposed to tail. You see? Tail and Terna. Terna has a longer A sound. Terna is in swim. Terna means as in to swim. Let's do another pair. Let's do it on the top. Here is your dal, that's a da sound. And we're going to combine body A to it. That makes it day. And then we're going to put a sheen. Desh. Desh is in country. Desh. Now, what I have seen, and I don't know why, but what I have seen is that sometimes when it's a show, when it's a show, and I'm not quite how picky people are when they're writing Hindi. But what I've seen is that this line does not go on the show. Show, for some strange reason, this part does not take a line. It just stands out by itself. The line stops right here. This line stops right here. The show stands out by itself. And then this guy takes this line. I don't know if you're, the, if you're that picky or not, but that's what I observed. I do not know why, as I said already. But show somehow sticks out. Just like a bow. When you're writing a bow, the line only goes on this part. It doesn't. It doesn't extend like that. It just and it goes on that one. I don't know why. Okay, so that's desh. Desh is in country. Let's compare that and another word where we have a longer a sound. So here's your che. Che. That letter is called che. Cho. Boy, it's very confusing to, to call these letters by what they are called when we're talking about Eki Matra because that's what the names of the letters are. Che, Be, Pe, Te, Se. But that's the name of the, those are the names of the letter. So instead of calling it Che, let's call it Cha. So as your Cha, mean to which we're going to add body here. So that's going to make it a Che. To which we're going to add a Zabar. That's going to make it a Badi ki matra, che, and then no. Chain. Chain is in chain is in peace and quiet. Chain. But notice chain and desh. And desh, A is very quick. Desh, chain. You see the difference? Chain. Desh. Another thing that I learned is that desh is not what we say in Urdu. In Urdu, this is very much a Hindi thing. In Urdu, we spell instead of a show. We spell it with so. We call it this. We spell it with a so. So I, I also have seen it spelled with a sh. So I put both of them there. Desh. Oh, we never put them together. So it's going to be like this. Dal, ye, and then sheen. And because the sheen appears at the very end, it takes a full form. Because it appears at the very end, it takes a full form. This. De, and then sheen. Please. Let's continue. I'm going to erase all of this thing because I want to talk about this word now. Chain. Let's put them together. Cho. This is how cho looks like when it's about to join something. And then a ye. And then noon. I'm going to erase this part and talk about something entirely different. One more time. When either when either badiye or chotiye appear in the middle of the word, they take this 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 form. You with me so far? We have talked about this thing many many times. 
This is nothing to do with matra, so we can erase this line. So now the question is, how is the reader supposed to know if it appears in the middle of the word like this, in this form, both of them, whether it's badi a or choti a, whether it's badi a or choti a, if it takes the same form, how is the reader, how is the, how is the reader to know whether it is being used as a badi a or choti a? To which the answer is, reader, reader can figure it out from the context. Vast majority of the times you have no trouble figuring it out whether it's being used as a badi a or choti a, just by reading the word from the context you can figure out what it is. But here's an example. I'm going to put it next to each other so you can see the contrast. Let's try another word. Here's your che, then a choti a. That's going to make it chi. Choti a means badi ki matra. And then a no. Let's put them together. Che, ye, and noon. Chin. This is a very different word than this word. Chain means to peace and quiet, tranquility, calmness. Chain. Dil me chain hai. Mere dil me chain hai. My heart is at rest. My heart is at peace. Chain. And chin. This chin means China. This is China. This is peace and quiet. But you see how similar they are when they are written. The only difference is that the zubar is missing. So in a situation like this, every once in a while, that zubar is missing here is what I meant. Every once in a while, if you're in a situation, if you feel that from the sentence, the guy is going to be unable to tell whether I'm talking about peace and quiet or China, as you can see how absurd it sounds, if you feel that there is a potential for confusion, then the convention in Urdu is that if you're talking about choti ye, if you're talking about choti ye, if you're talking about choti ye, the convention is that if you feel that there is a potential for for confusion, then in addition to putting two dots, we put a line like this, and this is called khara zabar. See, this is called zabar. But this guy is standing. It's not an oblique angle, it's standing. Khara, ye khara hua khara zabar. And that tells me that this is being used as a choti here. So that tells me this is not chain, this is chain. That's all. Let's move on. Now I feel much better. Let's do a couple more examples. As I said, how likely is it that somebody in the, in the sentence might confuse China with peace and quiet? I do not know. Let's do one more. So now we need a curve, except we need a curve which has no dot underneath it. With the dot, with the dot, we're talking about this K. That K right there. But because it has no dot, so this, this is not exactly equivalent in Hindi. Hindi has, in Hindi has no letter like this. And this is the approximate sound of this letter K that appears in Urdu, K. In Hindi, does have a sound, K, for which we do not have a letter in Urdu. So what we do? We take kaf and we put a henek together to make it kh. Here's your kaf and the dochashmi here, kh. That's what we need right now, kh. Not k, not k, but kh. Kh, and then a body here, so that makes it k and then alarm. Kale. Kale is into play. Kale is into play. Ko, bariye, and lam. Kale. Let me erase all this thing. Kale. As into play as I said. Co contrast this a, contrast the sound of this a, a ki matra, kale, choti a ki matra with the one that we are about to write. B in a body, eh? that's going to make it B. But this is body ki matra, so it has a zabar, and it requires two of them. B and then la. Kill, kill as opposed to bail. 
If you kill any here, the difference. Kill, kill, or bail. Bail is, I think it's an ox. Uh, I did not write down. I should have written down. Kill and bail. I think it's an ox. It's an animal. Bail. It's an animal that's used in farming to pull your cart when you're plowing the, plowing the field. Bail. You see? Bail and kill. Kill is very short day sound. This is much longer. Bail. Let's put it together. These, these three letters. So here's your B. And then a Y. Badi Y. Here's a Zubar. And Lam. Let's do it one more time. That's how you would write it. You would not start every two seconds to put your dots and the matra and so forth. So this alif on top of be is what gives us a second one. This alif on top of the be gives us a second one here. Otherwise it would have been choti ki matra. Let's do one more pair. Oh, we need the same. Oh, what do you know? We lucked out. We need the same letter k. And then to K K to K K to is in K to is in your field that you that you grow things in in farming K K. Let's compare this with. We have to erase all of this thing. Khet, as you can see, A sound is very short. Let's compare it with. Pe, badi ye. Pe, we want badi ye ki matra, zavar. Second one. Pe, and then ro. Pe, pe is in feet. But in pair, A sound is longer, pair, as opposed to kit, kit, pair. You see the difference? Let's put them together. Pa, ye, and re. Pe, badiye, and zabar, pair. Let's do another one, another pair. Another one actually is not a pair. We have to do them separately and then we'll, I'll do the pair. I'll, I have one more pair left which I'll do at the end. Let's do this word by itself. And the word is, let me first write it in Hindi. It's a badi ki matra. K. Kid. You know what kid means? Kid means prison. Kid. Kid. Let's put it in Urdu. So K. That's a calf and a buddy, eh? and I mean a zubber. When calves join the buddy, eh? it's going to look like this K with a zubber. Notice I'm putting it, I did not put it like this. That would have been G. That would have been G, but it goes here, a little bit farther away. K, D. K. The reason I'm making so much fuss about it is because. Is because in Hindi it does not matter. You only have one ka. In Hindi you only have one ka, and life is simple and sweet. In Urdu it's a bit more complicated. This particular letter is not spelled with a k. This particular letter is not spelled with a k, which is a ka. This particular no, I don't mean this particular letter. I mean this particular word is not spelled with a k. This particular word is to be spelled with a q. It requires a ka, ka, not ka, but ka. And you should speak, spell like this. When it's about to join something, it looks like this. And then down. That's the wrong spelling. Let's write one more word. Let's play with this thing. Instead of kid, which, which means prison. Which means prison. I'm not going to write it. it. It means prison. Let's convert the word prison into prisoner. Prison is called kid. Prisoner, the one who stays in the kid, is called kidi. It just needs a badi ki matra. So there is you. You just put a choti here next to it.
and becomes a kid. Now that's your prisoner. No longer a prison, but a prisoner. Let's continue with this thing. Kaaf, Bariye, it is a verb. We have this here, K. Then we have a the, right there, there. Kid. Kid. And then Kha. This time it's this Kha. So we need a dot in there. Kha. And then Na. Kate Khana. Kate Khana is also sometimes called Kate. Kate Khana simply means place where prisoners are kept. Kate Khana. Just like, let's digress a little bit, shall we? The word that we are about to write does not have any Ekhi Matra, but just to give an example. The. And then Wa. Again, this time this Wa is not being used as a Matra, it is being used as a letter, which is why it has a Matra here. That is the matra. It converts wa into a wa. The wa. The wa khana. You know what the wa khana is? What the wa khana is where you go to get your medicine. Pharmacy. The wa khana. Clinic. Clinic is also called the wa khana. It's called the wa khana because that's where you get your dawa. That's where you get your medicine. Similarly, we have khana and there are many such words with the suffix of khana. Khana means place where something takes place. That doesn't sound very good. A location where something takes place. Do you understand? Dawa khana, ket khana. Let's do the last pair. Last pair, one with the choti, choti eki matra and one with the badi eki matra. Be. And bari ye, be, and then seen, be, so, no. Basin. You know what basin means? Basin is a flower. A flower, not the kind of kind you smell, but the flower out of which one makes the bread. It's one kind of flower. I don't know which kind of flower. I don't know, but it's a flower. Basin. Right there. Let's put them together. It's a choti eki matra as you can see. Be, bariye, seen, and then nun. That's how it looks like. Basin. Compare this word basin with the next word we're going to write, which is going to have a bariye eki matra. Be, and then nun. And then a ga, and then another one. What do you suppose spells? That's a be, that's a noon, no, go, no. Bengan, that's how we write Bengan. Except in Hindi, I believe, this noon, because it has, a, it has a nasal sound, it is not actually a whole noon. In Urdu, we have to write the whole noon. But it's not a whole noon actually, it's just a nasal sound, Bengan. You see, there's a nasal sound in there. So I think instead of putting this entire noon, as you would in Urdu, they just put a dot. So this that converts be into bang. Bang. Gun. Bengan. You know what bengan is? Bengan is a, is a, it's a vegetable. It's an eggplant. Bengan. Let's put them together. Be. And then a noon. That's a noon. Then we need a ga. And then another noon. Bengan. Bengan. And the second noon, in Urdu, we have to write the whole noon. And the reader has to know that this noon is a nasal sound. Bengan. It's not ben, ben gun. It's not ben gun. Bengan. And that dot yeah. signifies that in Hindi. That is not ben gun. Bengan. That was it. That was my last pair. We're going to stop right here. Otherwise, I'll keep on going forever. We'll do two more, day number 19, day number 20, and we'll wrap up this Eki Matra. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.